As you can see, the LiDAR demonstrates its capability to distinguish between moving and stationary objects with very, very high sensitivity to movement. Uh, five centimeters per second movement or uh, velocity accuracy is extremely high and that allows perception work to be done much easier in a, a more robust uh, way. Also with very, very high uh, resolution as you can see in this, uh, in this video that was taken in the Ginza Junction at uh, Tokyo, among the most busy places in the world. So the same capability, a per frame calculation of the object heading also uh, allows us to evaluate and estimate what is the heading of every object. And again, the same capability allows us to estimate the time to collision with objects like this motorcycle that you can see here. At a range of 255 meters, this LiDAR can already tell if this is a moving uh, object that may put us in some danger uh, when it gets closer. Again, because of the very high resolution, it can actually measure the height of a very small brick that you can see here and tell us what is its height above the uh, surface of the road. It's only 15 centimeters. The LiDAR measured this as 17 centimeters, close enough, and that's a key issue for the uh, decision if this is a drive-over or a non-drive-over uh, situation. The LiDAR is very robust. See, the sun is right at the middle of this uh, field of view and it has no effect on, uh, on the results of the LiDAR. Shows you how robust uh, this LiDAR uh, is. And in the next example, we're going to see what happens when uh, the whole uh, window gets wet because of, uh, because of rain. Okay? Uh, so in this example, you can see how we get the whole front window completely wet uh, with the raindrops, the camera is completely, almost completely jammed, and you see non-noticeable, unnoticeable effect on uh, on the lidar results, which again shows how robust this uh, lidar is. Even more impressive, I think, is how it mitigates the water spray on wet conditions and rainy days. As you can see uh, down there, the vehicle gets detected with no effect of the. Uh, water spray on uh, how it appears, which uh, again is unique to such a LiDAR. The last example that we show here is what happens when you put one LiDAR against the other at a very close proximity of only four meters. Even if, if they stare right at each other, they don't have any effect uh, on their performance.